Hello everyone, this is a uh, video I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. It's really more of a public service uh, announcement than anything. Um, I've been frustrated with a lot of the things I've been seeing on a auction website. Um, a lot of hydrogen generators being sold, um, a lot of junk being sold to people, um, a lot of a lot of false misinformation and just outright lying going on just to, just to sell their product and what it's doing is it's destroying the reputation of um, the science that's going on here and the advancement of um, HHO and on-demand systems for vehicles machinery um, long-haul diesel trucks boats, anything you can think of. It's uh, ruining our reputation and uh, giving, uh, giving this, this whole, whole thing that all of us are trying to um, do a real bad name. So what I want to do is uh, give people some guidelines um, to, uh, that they can look at to see if someone is uh, misinforming them on, uh, on liters per minute production and if you take a look at some of the the ads or auctions you can they'll make they'll be making claims um, of uh, MMWs and liters per minute and uh, I just wanted to give everyone here the tools to be able to discern between uh, what what's real and what isn't out there so what I have here is uh, the formula for um, uh, Faraday's law is uh, basically what it says is you can't get more power out of something than what you put in. Um, it's basically breaking breaking the laws, Faraday's laws, and, and you know, quite quite frankly, the laws of physics. So. What I have here is, is uh, information on how to figure out uh, efficiency and if you're, if you're breaking Faraday's law or not. There's a term that's used. It's called uh, overunity, which basically means if a device is, has overunity, it means that it's putting out more energy than you're putting into it. It's over 100% efficient. Sorry about that, my phone rings all day long. Okay, so this is what we've got. If you get less than 2.4 watt hours, you have over unity. If you have more than 2.4 watt hours and you have less than 100% efficiency, and our under unity. And here's the equation. Equations here at the top, but it's easier explained here. Uh, electric generator pr produce one liter of HHO gas and measure the time it needs to produce that amount of gas. Then note the voltage and amps down and multiply it to get the watts. Then multiply with the seconds and divide it by 3600. So, this is what I've done. I've taken a couple examples of some things I've seen on this auction site. Um, and I wanted to go through the numbers that I came up um, when plugging in the numbers that they are posting on, on these ads. Um, okay, so the first guy, uh, let's see, he's got a dry cell, and he says he's getting three three liters per minute um, production at 13.31 volts and 27 amps. And then he goes down in the bit in the uh, further end is that he says, uh, "Beware of uh, false claims um, about production." And then he's saying that his uh, dry cell is 95 percent efficient. So I wanted to go over the numbers and uh, prove that he uh, doesn't know how to measure correctly or he's just flat out lying to, uh, um, 
to sell his product. Okay, so the claim is 8.35 mmW or over 95% uh, efficient. He's saying he's got 3 liters per minute at 13.31 volts and 27 amps, which basically produces 1 liter per minute of gas in 20 seconds. So using the uh, equation over here, 13.31 volts times 27 amps equals 359.37 watts. So we take the 359.37 watts times by 20 seconds, divide by 3600, and we get 1.996 watt hours. So if you look at the equation, you can see that his unit is, what he's claiming is over 100% efficient. So then it goes, uh, I've got another equation here to uh, figure out a percentage of efficiency. And it goes like this. For a finish, efficiency percent is 100 times 7,744, 7, and you times it by V, which is your volume of gas produced in liters, he's saying 3, divided by, divided by voltage, amperage, and test period in seconds, which is 13.31 times 27 times 60. So what we're getting is this is 107.74% efficient, which clearly breaks the law of Faraday. Um, one other, let's go through one other because I don't want to run out of time here. This unit shows a uh, hybrid, hybrid conversion kit. Um, and here's the, uh, the claims of this kit. A single unit will do 1.9 liters a minute at 16 amps, and a dual unit will do 3.8 liters per minute, um, basically at 32 amps. And uh, turns out this is one of the more reputable dealers on this auction site. Um, these guys sell a lot. Maybe a good product, but uh, they're putting out some false claims. And uh, here, here's their claim here. They're claiming 1.9 liters per minute at 16 amps and 3.8 liters per minute at 32 amps. Um, basically, produces uh, on the first one produces 1.9 liters per or one, one liter per minute in 29 seconds. Um, 13.7 volts, that's a car uh, car charging system, times 16 amps is 219.2 watts. 219.2 watts times 29 seconds divided by 3600 is 1.75. 1. 1. So, again, they're under the 2.4 watt hours for over unity. So they're more than 100% efficient on this. Um, and efficiency uh, percent um, 100 times 7744 times 1.9 divided by 13.7 times 16 times 29 equals a whopping 231 percent efficient. So just basically a, a flat out lie um, and obviously they're doing it to uh, uh, sell units. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm not trying to destroy anybody's, anybody's business. Uh, I'm just trying to give some information um, to the people that, that really need it, uh, the beginners, um, even some people that aren't big beginners that are thinking about buying um, a hydrogen generator. Um, hope this information helped everyone. Um, please leave comments. Um, all comments are welcome and uh, uh, just uh, 
be cautious in what you buy. Make sure you research it. Um, yeah, this gives you a little bit of little bit of power here to uh, um, be able to discern what's uh, what's true and what isn't. And I thank everyone for watching this video.